Hello, hello everybody. How are we doing today? I hope you guys are all doing well on this Sunday, watching football, going to church, whatever you guys are doing. Um, I am here to make a yummy dessert that you guys all picked. Um, it was a very, very close call between the cookies and the cookies and cream pie. Um, so I'm sure I'll be doing both eventually. Um, I hope you guys are all doing awesome. Hello, Sue and Heather. Hello, Deb. How are you? I am just going to take a second and share this live video. If you guys share it as well, that would be awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Gibson. So these are actually, um, this is my grandma who lives, uh, who lived in Bismarck and she passed away two years ago. But these are her jammies and I found them at my grandpa's house the other day and I just had to have them. I remember her wearing them all the time when I was at her house and she was just a little, little tiny grandma. So the fact that she wore these cracks me up because uh, she was probably half the size of me and I am swimming in this thing. So I thought I'd wear it. You guys, I don't know if you remember last year, I did an episode in my, my holiday pajamas for you guys last year. So I figured I'd do it again again this year. Hello Sue and Janet, Susan and Tammy, Tom and Nicole. Hello Eileen and Jamie, Carol and Michael. How are you? Deborah? I am so well. Hello Brent and Peggy. Eileen, how are you guys doing? Cassidy, Tammy and Lynn. Hello, hello you guys. How is everyone doing? You guys just take a second, share this live video. I'm just going to do that right now. Make sure if you share it into a group that you don't violate the terms of the group um, so you guys don't get kicked out. Hello, Jody and Heather and Eileen. You guys are so sweet. Threw my hair up just a second ago, so it's kind of crazy, but it's out of my face, so that's what I was going for. Hello, Nat and Nicole, Macy. Yes, you guys, um, I love whenever I go to my grandpa's house, I snoop through the house when he's not looking and find things um, that remind me of my grandma and him so that um, they aren't lost memories for me. I love having little mementos of stuff. Um, I, my grandpa, every time I go, gives me a new bear that my grandma used to collect the like Christmas and holiday special bears. They're white bears with different clothes on for different things that they are for. So my grandpa always sends them to me um, so that I can remember my grandma. It is, you guys, and it smells like their house. I've washed it twice now and it still smells like their house, which makes me really happy. Everyone is saying hello to Rory. He's getting water for the kids. Hello, Alice and Carissa. Okay, so I'm going to get back to sharing enough uh, uh, reflecting on my grandma and how awesome she was for a second. She loves baking, loved baking, loved being in the kitchen, loved feeding people. So I definitely got all of that from her. Um... She's my little North Dakota grandma. I used to visit her in the summer times and sometimes in the winter. Um, my dad would let us fly by ourselves, my brother and I, um, and we'd fly by ourselves to come see my grandma and grandpa up here. Um, little did I know that I was going to live up here at one point in my life too, which is always super fun um, to kind of carry on her traditions that she had um, being up here in North Dakota. So I'm just going to share these a couple more places. Remember, the more people that are watching, the more giveaways we get to do. The more giveaways we get to do, the more winners we have. And the um, better the odds will be for those of you that are playing the giveaway game. All right. So I have that share to as many places as I can remember. Tag your friends, you guys. If you can't share... Um, the post to your personal page, you click share, click copy link, paste the link into a status and then come back to the video. Um, make sure you guys take a second right now to like this post. You want to leave a reaction down at the bottom of your screen. It doesn't matter which one, doesn't matter how many times you pick it. Do it now so that you don't forget later because they do pull off the names halfway through the show um, for our giveaway. So make sure that you like the post now so that you do not miss out on the giveaways. Happy Sunday, Rose. Hello, Patty and Savannah. Yes, Christy, that's awesome. You guys, I love hearing when you guys try recipes, if your families liked them, what they didn't like, if you guys changed anything. I love hearing about stuff like that. Hello, Maggie, how are you? Stephanie and Sarah, hello, Savannah, Mary Jo. Hello, you guys. I hope you guys are all doing well. Yes, my crazy hair. I've only ever done this three times to my hair. Um, the first time I did it, my husband was like, ooh, I really like that. So I tried to do it more often now. 
You guys, yes, cookies and cream pie one. This is a super, super easy pie. Um, you can make it even a step easier um, if you just buy the um, store-bought Oreo crust, pie crust. They actually sell them already made so you don't have to bake your own. Um, so if you want to make it even easier, something to throw together, um, the most work it'll be is patiently waiting for it in the freezer when it is all done. Super cozy, you guys. Um, I love it. They are awesome and warm and I was cold this morning so we're just going to keep it on until I have warmed up. So we're going to get ready to make our crust for our pie. We're just going to make an Oreo cream pie, you guys. Cookies and cream pie, whatever you want to call it. If you don't have name brand Oreos, you can use off brand Oreos. Um, I know that there's a couple um, companies that make different types of Oreos that aren't name brand that you can use as well. Um, Tammy, when you win, I let you know where to send me the information and which information to send. Yes, you guys, these are my stainless steel mixing bowls from Pembroke Chef. I love that they have the silicone bottom so that they don't slip around. They've got a loop for pouring so that you're not trying to hang on to the edge of the bowl that is either slippery or has gunk on the inside. You just throw your thumb in here, hold it whichever way you need to, to be able to pour stuff. Yes, you guys can even change what flavor Oreos you use. Um, Oreos um, come in all sorts of flavors. You can use your vanilla Oreos. You can use chocolate. You can use mint. You can use, they make all sorts of different kinds. Yeah, you guys, my Simbi Lou Who here. All right, we're going to get started. The preheat your oven to 350 for the crust in a medium bowl. We're going to stir together our crushed cookies and our melted butter. You want about 24 cookies for this recipe. So I am just going to throw them into my manual food processor and hope for the best. Yes, Macy, you definitely do. It took me a while to order them, but now that I have them, I'm so glad. They come in three sizes. They come in a set of three sizes. Hello, Shannon. How are you? So excited for this recipe, you guys. Thank you for loving my hair and my jammies. Um, it's just a casual Sunday here at the Peterson house. Um, my mother-in-law is here playing with the kids. My husband is watching the Vikings game. All is well in the world in our little bubble here at the house. Hello, Nicole. So I'm just crushing up my Oreos. You can put your Oreos in a Ziploc bag and crush them up. You just want to pulverize them. Um, about 24 cookies is what you're going to use for your crust or two and a quarter cup of crushed Oreos. Um, you can also buy, let's see if I have any here. Um, you can also, instead of using Oreos, you can use um, graham cracker crumbs, chocolate graham cracker crumbs instead if you want to make the crust a little bit easier but still homemade. Brent, what are you doing? Um, all is not well. The Vikings are losing. Hello, Andy. How are you? Brady and Jolene. Brent, it says you want to share my video screen with me today. Is that true? While you're watching your Vikings game? I am using double stuffed Oreos, so my Oreos are a little stickier than they should be, but I'm still getting them all crushed up here. Hello, Jolene. How are you? Michaela, hello, you guys. Make sure you leave a reaction down at the bottom of the page to get entered into our giveaway today. <laughs> it's so funny, Brent. It said, Brent wants to share your screen with you. Um, you guys, if you're ever cooking along with me and you're feeling daring, you can share the live video with me and it will show you cooking in your kitchen. Get your phone set up. I will happily share the screen with you if you are ever cooking along with me. All right, so I've got some of those all crunched up. Like I said, I'm using double stuffed Oreos, so mine are going to be extra creamy on the inside. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes, Deb, you guys, that button will be there to share your screen, so don't click it unless you want me to see what you are doing and the rest of us to see what you're doing. Hello, Wendy and Mickey. I am really stressing my, my manual food processor. Like I said, you can just throw these in a Ziploc bag and crunch them up that way too, which I might do with the last set of Oreos just to show you guys what I mean and how to do it. You can put them in a Ziploc bag and hit them with the meat tenderizer. You can put them in a Ziploc bag and crush them with a rolling pin. Um, 
I only have little baby Ziploc bags at, here at my house, but I will show you guys. Just throw them in here, grab some of these out. You guys have the, I have these big chunks of Oreo cream from my double stuffed Oreos, but double stuffed are my favorite, so I had to do it. Did you guys know, my mother-in-law told me at the store today, she saw mega stuffed Oreos. I had never seen those before. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. Hello, Danielle, how are you? Share Bear, hello, Jen. So apparently there's mega stuffed Oreos as well. So if you are an Oreo fan like I am, you can use the mega stuffed Oreos. Extra creamy goodness in the center of them. Um, I actually only like the Oreos um, if they... Find my rolling pin here in a second. Um, if they have the cookie on the outside. But I have tried to just eat the cream and it's just not the same. Push out your air. Here we go. We're gonna roll it. Today I was opening up our um, marshmallow cream that we're gonna be using today, and I daubed a little bit on Grayson's nose, and he thought it was the best tasting thing ever. Hello, Susan. Yes, I have not tried the mega stuff either. I have like the double the cream than the double stuff. It's crazy. Mega stuffed is awesome. Yes, you can use your mix and chop. You can use your meat tenderizer. You can use whatever you want, a glass jar or something. I don't like this method as much because you see it's not really crushing the cookie. It's just smushing my, my cream in the middle. You guys, the best way to eat your Oreos is to take your Oreo and stick a fork through it and let it sit in water for a little bit, but not too long because otherwise it'll disintegrate and fall off your fork and you'll have lost it to the milk forever. But milk is definitely, honestly, Oreos are milk's favorite cookie and I 100% agree with that. Um, I was watching a video on Facebook of the best way to eat an Oreo and it was a trick video, but it was a girl eating an Oreo and she stuck a straw in it with milk in it and supposedly push the milk into the Oreo but it was really um, a marshmallow she had squished between two crackers to make it look like she was filling up the inside of the Oreo Ooh, gingerbread Oreos I've never had those Jasmine we are getting there um, my kids need a little bit more work on their good behavior before Santa can come but the elf on the shelf is helping with that Yes, I have somebody who dunks theirs in coffee, but milk is definitely my favorite. All right, so we have these all broken up. See, this is why if you're using double stuff, I don't recommend putting them in a Ziploc bag because there are so many cookies stuck to the inside of this bag right now. There we go. Let's open it up and try and get these cookies out of here. <laughs> messy, messy, messy when you use double stuffed. Like I said, if you guys don't want to use double stuffed, you can use those graham cracker crumbs that they make and just skip this whole process and just switch straight to adding your um, butter into your mixture. But we're going to do this, and then I'm going to do exactly what I just said. And we are going to chop them up a little bit more. Oreos and coffee. I have honestly not ventured out. As much as I love Oreos, surprisingly, I have not tried that many variations of them. My husband loves the lemon ones, um, but mine are still forever double stuffed. Jelly donut and coffee, no. Put them in a bowl, crush them up, and eat them. That's yummy. Yep, I'm using my mix and chop here, you guys. Get these all chopped up. Then we're gonna add yummy butter and then yes the golden ones are so good I like those when I'm not in a chocolate mood I think Oreos are the only chocolate thing I really like I'm not a big chocolate eater caramel is my favorite thing so Oreos are my one vice of chocolate that I enjoy all right we're all chopped up here then we're gonna add in a fourth a cup of unsalted butter mint oreos unicorn ones i have tried the cake batter ones or the cake ones um 
Another thing, you guys, I was doing a little bit of research the other day, trying to figure out if it's really a big deal that I use salted butter more often than unsalted. And when it comes to baking, there is a huge difference. So I always thought it was just to control the salt, and it is, but it also um, has a different fat content that helps when it comes to baking. So if it calls for unsalted butter and you're baking, definitely listen to it, even though I usually don't. Peanut butter ones, yum. Yes, double stuffed, you guys, they're the best. All right, we are all topped up. Now we are going to just melt up four tablespoons of unsalted butter. And then I do have to give just 20 seconds in the microwave, you guys. I do have to give an extra shout out to Jason. Jason um, sent me in the mail, and only if you watch my show often will you know how big of a deal this is, but Jason sent me in the mail yesterday a one cup measuring cup. It has powder on it, but my one cup measuring cup that magically disappeared has magically reappeared into my life. So special shout out to Jason for hooking me up and uh, making it possible to use a one cup measuring cup again. So you do 20 second burst with your butter and then another 10. You don't want it to boil over or separate. Yes, Tammy, do it. Buy all this stuff and make this pie. So I'm gonna pour in our butter and we are going to mix it until it's nice and combined. Ooey gooey, yummy goodness. Just using a little spatula. It doesn't matter how you get it all mixed up, but you just want it all nice and ready to go. Yes, you guys, my life is complete. Right? I'm starting to think you did. <laughs> Snuck into my house and took it. But we did joke that we hope that my husband doesn't melt this one now. But Jason did send me the entire set, not just the one cup. So I've got some backups of the other sizes now too, which is awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Sue. <laughs> right? If he didn't live all the way in Nebraska, I would say he took it. But he definitely lives too far away from me to have taken it. Yes, I did. Um, my measuring spoon, my measuring cup, this, I just put this in the microwave. Yes, it is microwave safe. Um, I just did 30 seconds, obviously, for the butter, but it can go in the microwave. Yes, you guys, my life is complete. So we are going to now put this into our pie plate. The one thing that I have been patiently waiting for Pampered Chef to come back with is our deep dish pie plate that I really, really want, but it is out of stock, so I've been patiently, patiently waiting for it to come back. I'm going to try and make a crust out of this. This will be my first time making an Oreo crust myself. It's already not going very well, <laughs> but we'll get it, you guys. It says to use the bottom of a measuring cup, but it's sticking to my measuring cup. So we're gonna try this again. I'm sure you guys are gonna have some awesome techniques for how to get this not to stick. Yes. Oh no, Gibson, we've both been waiting patiently for our pie plate. So we're gonna just smush this. That helped. Add a little bit of oil to your measuring cup. It worked for a couple smashes and now we're back to the disaster that ensued before. All right. Let's see here. We're gonna do our best to get this all smashed. Mine's obviously extra sticky because I used the double stuff to you guys. Um, I sprayed the cup, it worked for the first two smashes and then the oil worked its way off of the bottom and would not, not stick anymore. Yes, you guys, we will be patient, patiently waiting for our deep dish pie plate to come back from Pampered Chef. Um, it's one of our stoneware items and our stoneware, um, they're working as hard as they can to stockpile as many products as they can so that they can roll back out all of our stoneware items um, in time for hopefully February or March. So it is a huge bummer, it is a ways away, but our stoneware items are so worth the wait. 
that I will patiently wait for mine to come back in stock. I've got a couple stoneware pieces that I still want. Everything else, I feel like my life has. Wait, Jason, you better sell that to me. No joke. No, Gibson. You can't have it. I call first dibs on Jason's pie plate. He lets stuff sit in the box forever, you guys. I'm sure he has had these measuring cups that he just sent me. I'm sure he had them for months. So we are just getting our pie crust all smushed in here. It doesn't need to be pretty. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's all about the taste when it comes to this pie because it's just going to be a yummy, delicious slice with every bite. So I've got that pushed in there and around our edges. And now we are going to bake it for about 12 minutes. Um, I'm gonna do a little less than that just because my oven does run hot and I don't wanna burn my pie crust. Wash all that yummy Oreo stuff off of my hands. So I'm gonna throw it in, probably only bake it for 10 minutes at 350. And then we're going to get started on the ooey goodness of the center of the pie. Heather, that's awesome. Start your wish list so that we can book a party here soon and get you a bunch of free and discounted stuff. Yes, you guys, hosting a party is the way to go. I'm booking into January, which is double rewards month. Before we start on the middle of our pie, I'm going to pull off the names for the giveaway. So you have these last 30 seconds to hit a reaction down at the bottom of the screen to get entered into the giveaway if you have not hit the button yet. Remember, you can only win once in a month. So if you've already won once for this month, you do need to wait again until next month. I'm refreshing the page and then I will pull the names. Heather, that's awesome. <clears throat> Always message me, you guys, if you want to get on my schedule. I am booking into January now, so make sure you shoot me a message if you want a January spot because they are going to go fast. They are double rewards month. So that means when you hit 650 in sales, your free product credit will then double in price. So you can get away like a bandit if you have a January double rewards month. Thank you, Savannah. I appreciate it. Yes, you guys, this pie is going to be so good. All right, here we go. I'm just going to pull the names off, and then we'll get started on the center of our pie, which is going to consist of marshmallow cream, heavy whipping cream, and some other yummy goodness we have here. All right, I pulled the names off. We are doing two giveaways today. So thank you guys all for sharing and hanging out with me. Remember, you do need to be present to win. So make sure you stick around through the length of the show so that you do not miss your giveaway because once the two minutes is up to claim your giveaway, I do move on and pick a new name. So you do need to be present to win the giveaway. Hot chocolate ice cream, yum. Yes, Brent, next time. Thank you for sharing, you guys. Um, January parties are awesome. All right, so here we go. We are going to make the cream part of our Oreo cookie cream pie. So we are going to beat the cream cheese and the marshmallow cream with a medium speed mixer until it's nice and soft. Lemon pepper ranch pretzels. It sounds delicious. I love pretzels. I've tried a lot of different kinds, but that doesn't sound like I have ever tried those. All right, so we are putting in eight ounces of softened cream cheese. Soften it, just pull it out of the fridge, leave it on your counter for an hour, and you should be good to go. Um, I always, when it comes to a recipe that has cream cheese in it, um, uh, I always beat it by itself first and get it nice and smooth. Otherwise, I notice it gets chunky. And nobody wants chunky cream cheese. All right. Nice and smooth already. And 
then we are going to add in our cup of marshmallow cream. So I'm going to use my measure all measuring cup because that is the best measuring cup to use for things that are sticky, ooey, gooey messes because it is easy to get it back out of the measuring cup once you are done getting it in there instead of fighting it to get in and fighting it to get it back out. So we're just gonna use this yummy marshmallow cream. I'll show you guys the container if you're not sure, never bought marshmallow cream before. This is my favorite brand. Yes, Lacey, definitely. Definitely send post the recipe on my page and we can try them out on the show. It's okay, Andy. It happens. Kids love playing with phones, so I completely understand if you start leaving gibberish on the page. So, a cup of marshmallow cream, like so. Yummy, sticky, ooey, gooey. Ooh, Susan, that would be really fun. So you just push the bottom of the measure all and just scoop that out of there. And then you haven't left any marshmallow cream behind. This is the best measuring cup ever, you guys. Hold on to your balls. smooth here in the bottom of our bowl so yummy you guys some of the best fruit dips are cream cheese and marshmallow cream for your strawberries or your dipping fruit pleasure yes you guys these measuring cups they are super inexpensive $12 um, some are eight some are 17 just depends on what size this is the one cup measure all which I believe is 12 or $13 super inexpensive and it's super super easy you guys super easy to use easy to clean it comes right apart to clean up Ooh, peanut butter and fluff sandwich no, Jasmine, unfortunately, I believe with um, the kind of um, design copyright that KitchenAid has on those stand mixers, Pamper Chef isn't able to recreate anything that would even compare to it. So I do recommend if you need a good stand mixer, KitchenAid is the way to go right now. Pamper Chef can't make that product. Um, so I do recommend if you need a stand mixer, KitchenAid is definitely the way to go. Yes, good, good, Carol. I'm glad it's on your wish list. So we have our cream cheese or marshmallow cream. And then we are going to use this bowl. And we are going to whip up our heavy whipping cream. I had that sitting on the counter for too long, you guys. When it comes to making whipped cream, keeping your whip, heavy whipping cream in the fridge as long as possible, or even throwing it in the freezer for five to 10 minutes before you plan on making whipped cream, along with your bowl. If you put your bowl into the, um, into the freezer, along with your heavy whipping cream, it will come up to whipped cream a lot faster. So actually, what I'm gonna do, so we just need a cup of heavy whipping cream and I'm going to pour it into my whipped cream maker. <laughs> Thank you, Corrine. You guys are so sweet. So this is how you use the um, liquid side of your measure all measuring cup. This is the bottom side. So you flip your cup completely over, if that makes any sense at all, and use this pour spout. So we're using a cup of heavy whipping cream. Pour that on in here. This is our whipped cream maker, you guys. This is so awesome. This will um, drastically cut down the amount of time that I spend um, trying to make whipped cream. Super easy to do. The kids can help you with it. So we are going to make whipped cream. 
See, typically it takes about four minutes to make whipped cream with a mixer, but with your whipped cream maker, you can make it here. Your kids can help you with it. It doesn't take long at all. Um, do be careful though, because it is a very fine line between whipped cream and butter. When you are using this, it will cause it to separate and turn into butter. Um, so you do need to be careful. Watch what you're doing. Pay attention to um, the resistance that you feel as you start pumping um, your um, plunger up and down. Yes, Cassidy, you guys, the whipped cream maker is my favorite. Kids can help with it. Super easy to do. Just like that, I have whipped cream. Obviously, if you're making real whipped cream um, for desserts, you're going to want to use some vanilla or some sugar to sweeten up the mixture, but we just need whipped cream right now with no additional sugar in it. And then we are going to gently fold it into our mixture here how I clean off my beaters. I spin them really, really fast right above to clean them off really quickly. So we are going to add this in to our mixture here. It's the only thing I wish there was a better way to get the whipped cream out of your little mixers here. But just takes a couple swipes of a spatula to get your whipped cream out of your little blades here and then scoop it out like so. Our pie crust is done so I'm going to pull that out and I'm going to set our pan on a wire cooling rack to get that crust nice and cooled down for us to put. It looks nice and fluffy. I'm just gonna use my wire rack here, you guys, and just set it right on it so that it can cool down. Um, if you don't have a cooling rack, just any way that you can set your pan so that air can circulate underneath it will cause it to cool a lot faster than setting it on a surface and letting it cool. Um, Jason, I haven't. After looking at it, I just don't think it'll work. The holes are just way too big of the batter mix and dispense. Um, there's a couple different recipes that you can use the whipped cream maker for. You can make froth and stuff for making coffee and things like that, making butter, um, all sorts of fun, different things, um, that you can do with our whipped cream maker. I just use it for whipped cream and it is perfect. So we are just going to gently fold this mixture in using a swooping motion you guys um, I use my mix and scrape because it has a little bit of a bevel on it which I like um, because our whipped cream has just been beaten up into stiff peaks you do not want to use a hand mixer or a stand mixer to mix these together um, it will overbeat your whipped cream and give you a desired consistency that you do not want so just fold it in you can kind of see as the colors meld together, um, our, our um, marshmallow and our cream cheese were kind of a pale color, pale yellow, and our whipped cream was white. You can tell when they start to combine together. You don't have any big chunks of certain items. So just like that, all folded in. You guys, it's gonna be so good. All right, so we have that all folded in. That's good, baby. Now we are going to fold in about 12 crushed cookies. So we are gonna grab some more Oreos. We're gonna add, crush about 12 of them. I can get my little bag open here. Like so. Like this. So I'm doing six at a time in here, and I'm going to crush them up, and then I'm going to fold them into our dessert. Oh, my cookie got stuck. My blade isn't on. 
big pieces some little pieces 12 cookies you guys can use mint ones you can use golden ones so that you have half regular Oreos and half golden ones um, Jen I can send you guys or I can post the recipe for the whipped coffee that you can make in the whipped cream maker I know that that was kind of a fun little fad or cool recipe people were doing for a while so we do have a recipe for how to make whipped coffee in your whipped cream maker so there you go guys go this is gonna be so good um my mother-in-law actually is making some chicken tortilla soup for dinner all right so once my cake or once my pie pan is cool i am going to spread this into our crust, top it with whipped cream and one cookie, and then put it in the fridge for at least four hours. So, while I wait, I'm going to put this in the fridge, wait for my crust to cool. Yes, that measuring cup, it's an eight cup measuring cup and it comes with a lid. So awesome. So we are gonna do our giveaway now. You guys, this is so good. Yes, you guys, I love chicken tortilla soup. Yum, okay. So good, not too sweet, really light and fluffy. Delicious, okay. <clears throat> So we have all our names here, it looks like. I'm just gonna go through, make sure we don't have any of our winners from this month in here. And then we should be good to do our giveaway. Remember, you have to be present to win. So make sure that you stick, um, stay and hang out through this giveaway so that you don't miss your name. And then we should be good to go. Then I'll come up with a recipe for Tuesday. I still haven't decided what I'm gonna make, but I am leaning towards more holiday type recipes. So if you guys have anything to share with me, please just let me know. All right. Make sure we have everyone. And we should be good to go. Okay. I think we've got them all, you guys. All right. It's not, Heather. I really want to get our Pampered Chef rolling pin or marble one. Mine is wood, and I don't like it. So that's why I have this sleeve on it, because the wood, it just sticks to everything. So I do want our marble rolling pin that Pampered Chef has. Um, just one of many things that I will get over time. 
Yes, you guys, the eight and the four cup measuring cups are awesome. The, the classic batter balls are what they're called. Yes, you guys, each can have a piece of the pie. Um, Carrie Wilwand, will you pick two numbers between one and 12 for us? Two numbers between one and 12. Hello, Buffy, how are you? I've got quite the mess here, like always. Thank you, Melissa. You guys are so sweet. My hair's a disaster, but I like it. I'm rocking it. It's happening because I didn't feel like trying to figure out which direction my hair needed to go today. Yes, you guys. I want one. I want one so bad. Right? Maybe Santa will bring me one. Five and seven. Everyone keeps asking me what I want for Christmas, and I don't have an answer for them because usually for Christmas, I want... Uh, kitchen products. Well, I have kitchen products coming out of my ears now, so it's hard for people to buy me stuff anymore because I have been blessed enough to get it all working for Pamper Chef, so it makes it harder on people who want to give me gifts. Five and seven. Here we go. Pull you guys a little bit closer. Remember, your name may be pulled, but if it's not pulled on five or seven, you haven't won. And, um, if you have two minutes to comment, if you don't comment or you comment after the two minutes, I do move on and pick someone else. Um, and um, yeah, that's about it. So let's go. So I have short term memory loss. Five and seven. Five and seven. Here we go. Number one, I do remove your name once it's been pulled so it can't be pulled twice. Number two, lots of new names. Number three, I love new names four and five sherry lapointe if you are here please comment number six and number seven nicole nicole are you still watching nicole if you are here you guys you have two minutes to comment two minutes to comment latte and cookies sherry is here so nicole is the next one that needs to comment she missed this the first time she won so let's see if she is here sherry i see you yes first time winning congratulations sherry so you will message me Woo, nicole's here too you guys will message me doesn't matter personal page business page, Pampered Chef page, I get all the messages. Message me your first name, your last name, your shipping information, your email, and your phone number. Sending me that message is a reminder for me to place the order, so make sure that you send it to me because I will not be able to track you down. Um, I will post a picture when this is all done and ready to go. We're just gonna smear it into our pie crust, top it with some pretty stuff, and let it sit in the fridge for four hours and then serve it. So it'll be good to have with dinner tonight. Um, thank you guys for picking this recipe. It was awesome, it was easy, and it was so delicious. So I will probably do this um, through the next couple weekends for the holidays, have you guys pick the recipes. Um, out of some picks that Brie made and I will see you guys again on Tuesday. Have an awesome night.